Don't do this at home. Guys, it's the box of crapola. So excited. I just got my box of crapola in the mail from Cigar Page. This is a, what is it, a semi-annual thing that they do, I guess. And it is the Boxo Crapola, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's uh, kind of a grab bag uh, type thing that they do uh, every, I can't remember, it's, it's, it's twice a year that they do it. And I, I haven't done it before, I missed it last time. I wasn't sure the first time I saw it. And uh, so I want to go ahead and do a video of me unboxing the box of crapola because uh, it will give you guys a little bit of an idea of what to expect if you wanted to order your very own box of crapola. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's see what's in my box of crapola. To start off with, I have a Phil Robertson bobblehead um, which is fantastic a Huck baseball cap which I don't think I've ever worn a green baseball cap maybe you'll see me wearing this in the next review we'll see hang on what is this uh, oh, cigars and bubble wrap we'll save those for the moment because there's more to get to what is this? Uh, this is Happy Happy Holidays um, from the Duck Commander crew. So uh, keeping with the, the, the Duck Commander theme there. Uh, it's the guys wearing Santa hats and it says Happy Happy Holidays. And it's a nice tumbler actually. It's a Turvis. And uh, apparently they had some leftover uh, Christmas crap that they were looking to get rid of. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. It's insulated, right? That's a nice tumbler. I'll use that. What is this? Real Tree Monster Bucks XXI, which is Roman numerals for something. Volume 2, it says. Right on. Well, sweet. I'm going to watch that because I don't know if you know that or not, but I'm into deer hunting. Uh, okay, now that's sweet. Gotta open this. This looks like a uh, like a combat throwing knife or something, but it's uh, poly. It's that is not metal. That is plastic. FGX battle ring. Cold steel. Anytime, anywhere. All right. I have no idea what I'm going to use that for. But I'm probably going to set it on my bar as a conversation piece because, um, again, I don't know what I would do with a poly knife. Awesome. Oh, looks like a pair of sunglasses in here. This is Christmas! It's just like Christmas. I have no idea what's in here. Real tree sunglasses. The kind that have no frame on the bottom, which makes me look like I drive a Ford Super Duty, but I don't. I have no idea how they look. I shouldn't have done that. But they're polarized, so hey, I mean, sunglasses for fishing at the very least, right? Fish don't care what you look like. That is the end of the box of crapola, except for the cigars that come in this thing. Let's take a look at what we got here. Nice and bubble wrapped. Where is the beginning? There it is. Okay. Let's see what cigars come in this thing, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the whole box of crapola thing. In case you're unfamiliar, let's see what we got. We got some good stuff in here. All right. Start off with we have a Perdomo Lot 23, Robusto looks like. We have a Tetris. Looks like a Toro. I'm familiar with that one. Uh, a PDR Small Batch Reserve uh, Maduro. I think
think so. I believe that's a, the Maduro version of it with the white label. Good stick. Nice budget stick, actually. I've been thinking about doing a review on one of those. Um, classic Monte Cristo in a Robusto size. Very nice. Very nice cigar there. A Synergy. Not super familiar with it. Um, I think it's a Dominican cigar. Um, wish I could tell you more. Sorry. La Polina Red Label. This is very nice right here. A uh, Rocky Patel Vintage 1990. Uh, looks like a Toro size. Very nice. And this giant here is a Frank's Way. Um, I've seen these sticks on, I think, Cigar Page and maybe on one other. I think they're sort of a, a budget line. Don't know anything about it other than this thing is giant. It's gotta be... It's huge. All right. Well, there we go. That's a nice nice bundle of cigars, and it's, you know, stuff that maybe I never would have tried before, which is cool, which is kind of why I bought this. Um, so what this is, is it's the box of crap that they offer twice a year, and it's $29.99, 30 bucks. it ships free, just like everything on Cigar Page, and you have no idea what you're getting. You're getting eight cigars and some random crap that they say that every red-blooded, freedom-loving American would love. And... Really, they're not wrong. Aside from maybe these sunglasses with no frames on the bottom, because uh, again, anytime I've ever seen anybody wearing sunglasses like these, they grow up with super duty. I'm telling you. But uh, $29.99 gets you just random stuff, and again, it's like Christmas, man. It's awesome. You get to open it up, and you have no idea what's inside, and it's exciting. And I got some great sticks, some other sticks that I hope are good, and uh, I get to try something new. That's awesome. I like that. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a place for this Phil Robertson bobblehead. Bottle head. So uh, there you go, guys. Just a little bit um, what to expect if you were to, to dive into the Boxo Crapola from Cigar Page. Um, I've actually emailed Cigar Page before on this, and they kind of blew me off or didn't really like my idea. But Cigar Page doesn't have a, uh, like a Cigar of the Month club or, or anything like that where you have like a monthly subscription like a lot of other retailers do. And I encourage them to do that because they can do it in a format kind of like this where you get, you know, three to five cigars every month and some random other cool stuff. So it's kind of a surprise. Not only do you not know what kind of cigars you're getting, but you're also getting some other random cool stuff as well. And because they're Cigar Page, they can do it for cheaper than anywhere else because what they do. I mean, this was 30 bucks for all this stuff, which is, granted, I mean, they were just kind of like, they admitted in the description of the thing that they were basically just getting stuff off the shelves, which is fine. This is cool stuff, you know, um, albeit holiday themed. <laughs> but it's all stuff that I'm going to use, except for maybe this, uh, this, this this knife here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that other than display it. Proudly, I might add. So, anyways, if you're from Cigar Page and you're watching this, do something like this as a monthly subscription because I will promote the crap out of it because I think it's such a great idea. And I love the box of crapola. I love all the stupid stuff that I just bought. And I love the cigars that I'm going to try because I really like trying new stuff. And the only way to get new stuff is to just buy randomly because otherwise you're never going to buy it because I'm just going to look at this and be like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. So I won't order it. This is the only way that I try new stuff. So there it is, guys. If you see the box of Crapola, the link for the cigar page is in the description below. Go there, check and see if they've got it. The next time they do it, I'll make a video just for the box of Crapola and I'll put a, a link for this video on that video or something like that. I don't know. But I think it's really cool. Hopefully you do too. Throw a comment down there. Tell me what you think. Tell me if they did a subscription box like this that was in like the $20 range, $25 range, something like that, for maybe three to five cigars and some random cool stuff. Get down there and tell me whether you would actually subscribe to that. Because I would. Would you? All right. That's all I got. Happy smoking.